Hello, this is Julia Bushkova, and today, as promised, I will speak about the straight bow. So what helps the bow to stay straight, that is parallel to the bridge, uh, and what we should do and what we shouldn't do. Number one, you will need to have a mirror. For this sort of exercise, it's absolutely imperative. Uh, you want to position yourself in front of the mirror in exactly such a way that I'm standing right now facing the camera. So the F holes, the middle of the F holes, need to face your mirror. Not you face the mirror like this and look like that. It will do absolutely nothing for your correction. Uh, this way is when you can see whether my bow is actually parallel to the bridge or not. Okay? So... Uh, in my examples, I would use the whole bow, and I will pretend that my right arm is my student's arm, and I will be my left arm, and you will see what I will do. So here it is at the frog. Uh, I will come to my student, I'm on A string, and I will move them like this from here. And as you can see, the bow is still straight, parallel. So next movement will be the movement that I will start moving the elbow, opening the elbow, we call it, and then also slightly keep moving the arm. Okay, so we're roughly in the middle of the bow. Then after this, I will continue moving the, el uh, the elbow only, opening the elbow. And the last movement is again, when you have two of them working together, the elbow keeps opening and the arm now comes in a little bit. And that's how we finish. Now, if you uh, watch carefully, and I will go back right now, so this will be our combined movement. Then I'm going only with the elbow. Then you have a combination of elbow and arm, but I would still think elbow. And finally, only arm. Okay, so to make it uh, a little bit clearer, you can think in three, or you can think in four. At first, I would suggest to think in three. And that is the exercise that I was doing when I was little um, with my teachers, uh, really little, starting the violin. And we did this like this. Imagine that you have the violin, but without the bow. And then you put your arm and you go one, two, three. And back three, two, one. Again, one more time. One, two, three. Three, two, and one. Okay? So that is a very rough scheme of the movement. In reality, a little closer to reality, in four, you can think arm, one, both, two, only forearm, three, and then four. And then back four, and then three, two, one. Okay? So, in other words, you are in schematic way uh, with stopping, you're doing this motion. You're mimicking this very uh, fluid movement in your upper arm and the elbow uh, that uh, keeps your bow actually parallel. Now, one very important thing to remember. Of course, the wrist has to be responsive or I can tell, I can say reactive, maybe. The knee, the wrist, the wrist joint has to react to the movements of the arm and the forearm. If it doesn't, then you're being in big trouble. Then whatever you do with your arm is not going to give you a good result. Um, so here's example. Um, I will do the correct movement, but I will not allow my wrist to react at all. And you can see where the bow is. That is because my wrist is absolutely stuck in the same position. Now, the difference between this and the correct one is, you see? So the wrist is slightly down. And as you go down, the wrist, of course, gets more down through the middle of the bow. And to the tip, the wrist is slightly more down. And then up, it will go again through the middle and up uh, to the frog. All right, so this is our first step towards a straight bow. Since practicing with the mirror is very, very important, I would like to stress a couple of points. Uh, first, after you position yourself, 
you check it and you check it like this. You turn your head. Don't turn all because you will not see anything and that will also ruin your alignment. Uh, so you put the bow, you do the best you can, then you check with the mirror, it's, mm -hmm, okay, pretty good. So, and then what is a good idea actually is already to do what I'm doing right now, which is it's straight in here, then I look in here and I compare, okay, so this is how it looks when the bow is parallel. Why is that? Why it's important? Because the bow actually at first doesn't look like it is parallel when you look at this at the angle. And you will be looking at the angle since we totally don't want to do this kind of thing. It's not good at all. Uh, so here we are. Again, you so look at the mirror. Mm, good. Or you put it here. Mm -hmm. And then you look in here. And you memorize the way it looks uh, from your standpoint. Uh, and yes, the bow will actually look slightly as if it goes this way, but much, much, much less, of course, from here. So just like that. And uh, one, uh, after you practice enough, you will realize that it starts looking like it is really parallel to you. Um, so that is important. Another thing that is important is to practice with the mirror and constantly get your feeling very, very much uh, alive or get aligned with your feeling. All the sensations, like just how much you move that arm when you go back or how much you open what is it in the wrist, how it feels, and so on. It's really important to not only watch, because if you just look in the mirror, you will not memorize the actual movement, which you will need, obviously, when playing without the mirror. So I hope this has been helpful. Happy practicing, and I will see you all later.